Hey everybody, I finally have a TTC update for you now that something finally happened on cycle day 69. I finally started my period, so I woke up this morning and felt a little wet down there, and sure enough, I looked and I was like, oh, finally, about time. So my last period was on July 3rd, and... <clears throat> My last period was on July 3rd, and so I typically, like, so far, have exactly an eight-week cycle, so I went about my business and, you know, did everything, tried to conceive, whatever, and, but this time I've been, like, super lax about it. I haven't been like, I want a baby! I've been like, oh, I want a baby, so I'm gonna, you know, try to conceive, but if I don't get pregnant this cycle, I don't really care, like, I'm not... The sense of urgency that I had when I was trying to conceive Molly is gone. So now it's just like, eh, whatever. Like, I am not, like, too upset about the whole thing, like, whatsoever. I'm really not upset. So, I my period was due on, like, August 28th on a Thursday. And around that time, I was definitely having symptoms of PMS or whatever. So, I was like... I could be, but I wasn't counting on it. I didn't, like, feel pregnant, but I had, I did have a couple, like, pregnancy kind of dreams. And so I went ahead and bought a pregnancy test and took it, and it was completely negative. And I wasn't sad at all. I was like, oh, well, I didn't care. I was like, well? But I was really confused. My period didn't show up. So I was like, well, where's my period then? Like, and it didn't show up. So I was like, okay, but I still didn't feel, like, any more pregnant or anything. So I wasn't counting on being pregnant. And so I was just like, come on, where is it? I'm still feeling like it's going to show up soon. So I knew it was going to show up soon, but I didn't know when. So it finally showed up today. So today is cycle day one. And I'm also really excited because I really want a summer baby. And this like has dramatically pushed up the chance that I'm getting a summer baby. So I'm like, yes. So I'm not too like worried about anything like that. So yeah, so I could get pregnant this month and have a summer baby, so I'm really, really excited. Anyway, and if I don't, then pff, I don't really care, because having a baby is tired work, of course. So I'm not like, Ooh, I'm not pregnant, ah. like I'm not quite like that anymore, like I was. Like now that I've had a baby, having another baby is totally not as urgent. So, yes, that's what's been going on. And Molly's doing fine. She got sick the other day, but it was only like a 12-hour thing, and she's fine now. And her nose gets runny occasionally, but, oh, uh, like two nights ago, her nose was so runny that she couldn't breathe out of it very well, and so she couldn't get comfortable and go to sleep, and she was exhausted, and she felt like she was burning up. I actually, I'm not sure if she had a fever or not, because it broke if it if she did have a fever like the next morning she got up with Ben and she was totally fine so I'm not sure what that was about but my poor little baby so it's good to know that her immune system is working so anyway there's my TTC update um this is my so now I'm starting what my third yeah this is like cycle number three for trying to conceive baby number two now I guess and as always with me, it's a total toss-up when I ovulate, so lucky me. So it'll be maybe a little bit harder. I'm also breastfeeding, so that doesn't really help anything either. So if I get pregnant, I get pregnant. If I don't, I don't. I'm definitely, like, at peace with, like, not being successful this month. So as long as I'm pregnant, like, by the time Molly's one, then I don't really... I won't be, like, too freaked out about it. Like, I might well actually I have an appointment with my midwife because she can do like gynecology exams I have an appointment with her in January so if I'm not pregnant by then I think I will ask her to test for PCOS even though I really don't think I have it I just have really long cycles because I have everything else is normal like I have normal periods when I have them and so I don't expect this one to be any different the only problem is that my cycles are just super long and like I don't have any of the PCOS symptoms I'm not like obese I don't grow like a lot of facial hair of course I have like some but who doesn't and I never had acne I mean I had like teen like forehead spottiness but I've never had like acne and 
anything like that. So, if I do have PCOS, my only symptom would be, like, that I don't ovulate as often. But I do ovulate, so I, I got pregnant. I had no problem getting pregnant, so that wasn't it. So, we'll see. But I have a feeling I'll probably be pregnant by then. And if not, then I'm just not. And I'll be maybe a little disappointed, but not really that bad. So, that's where we stand now. We get to try again. I am officially not pregnant. The problem with TTC is you're either pregnant or you're like probably or almost or whatever pregnant. Like, I could be pregnant, so ah. Uh. And like peeing on a pregnancy test is like trying to get the golden ticket. <laughs> so it's like, ah, come on. So, so that's where we stand right now. I am officially not pregnant and cycle number two has officially ended and cycle number three has begun. And so far I feel fine. So I assume it'll continue. It's my day off, so the day that I bleed like crazy, I have off. So that's good. So I don't have to worry about going to work and all that fun stuff. So I will talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.